That's funny, Eric. I thought I told you to clean out the Vista Cruiser. But what I must have said was, go sit on your ass. Now, just to show you what we have to start with is a 2018 version of the Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser that I'm going to customize into the That 70s Show Vista Cruiser that Eric Foreman drives and is sort of the star of the show as far as vehicles go. Okay, let's get into this customization right here. I'm going to forego showing you how to take apart a car and strip the paint. Link in the description on that video. Right here, I'm using Tamiya Fine Primer. I like this because I'm just putting small and light coats uh, so it doesn't wreck all that detail that we're trying to preserve because you're going to see in the subsequent steps we don't want too heavy of a coat of primer. Sorry for the bad framing here. Now I'm using a green paint here to kind of replicate the uh, color of the Vista Cruiser here and I'm applying it with my airbrush. I have this thinned down using uh, light coats. I want to get an even coverage but not too heavy. Don't want to create any runs and I also again don't want to kill all the nice little details of this casting. Now I decided I wanted to do a wheel swap here and honestly I don't know why Matchbox didn't do this from the beginning on this particular model because they have this kind of wheel set for a lot of their other cars. So I'm just going to use some nippers here and take the plastic little clips out and then take the axles out and then replace them with some donor axles that I got from another Hot Wheels car. Just install them back into their normal places there and set them in with just a one drop of some super glue. Now, don't look now, but we're going to cut the ends off of these dogs heads that stick out the back window. I don't think Eric Foreman had a dog in the show that I remember. And then we're just going to sand down using a regular old nail file. I actually use these a lot. They're easy and cheap at the dollar store. Next little customization we want to do here is just highlight the steering wheel and then I'm using a wash here. Very thin black paint. I just want it to settle in to the tufts of the vinyl just to make it stand out and take the shine down a little bit. Uh, it'll make it look a little bit more realistic. Now that the paint's dry, I want to add a clear coat to kind of set this layer in. We have a couple more layers to do to do some detail work, and I want to paint on top of that. And here's the car masked off for the fake wood grain panels. On the real car, this was just vinyl decals, and I'm using a brown paint. It's actually a rust color. Uh, to set in these inlaid fake wood grain and just doing light coats going back and forth. Now I wanted to mask off this little area for the trim that separates the two-tone paint. And as you can see we got a little bit of bleed from my masking tape. I'm using an automotive fine line tape uh, if you have some tips, uh, please leave a comment on a better tape that I could use. Now I'm filling in the tail lights and the reverse lights. The top is red and the reverse lights are white. And you see kind of messed up some of that trim work around there. We're going to fix that later towards the end of the video, so don't worry about that. I'm just touching up some of the chrome accents with the chrome pen. I went around the rest of the car with the chrome pen as well. At this distance, it may look a little sloppy, but away from the car, it actually looks pretty good, and the resolution kind of doesn't do this justice. Now 
And as you can see, we basically have the car more or less finished. Now, I want to simulate the wood graining using a stippling brush and a dry brushing technique. I'm using a different color brown here. Well, now you didn't think I was going to leave you hanging. Here's the finished product with the wheels on and the base on. Looks pretty good in my opinion. My tape lines could have been tighter. Comment if you have a better masking tape. But anyway, keep watching because I'll show how I sort of corrected some of those errors earlier in the video. And thanks for watching.